So I wanted to make another video today because my check engine light on the Shelby has been coming on for quite a bit of time now. Uh, I've been trying to clear it and seeing if it comes on and it does come on. So I finally went more in depth to see why it's coming on and I wanted to show you guys and um, also talk about how to fix the issue. I'm lucky enough that I have the lawn racing engage in my car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just check for my coats. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys too how to do that if you have an engage on the car. Um, it automatically brings up what my short trim fuel trims are because I have them set up that way. The spark and also my knock activity. But I'm gonna go ahead and exit my gauges and go to, straight to diagnosis. Scroll down where it says read codes. <clears throat> Okay, so the code that is coming on is going to be for this P0455 EVAP system leak, and it's a large leak. And then I should also have another one for a very small leak. We're not gonna clear it just yet. I wanna go ahead and change everything and show you guys what needs to happen in order for you to fix this issue. So uh, the most common the most common code that you're going to have out there is going to be this one, the P0456, which is the small leak. Um, so Ford would actually recommend you, and this is, I read this on Pro Demand, is to clean your gas cap. I mean, there's not really a gas cap on these cars. It's one of those newer things, the smart fuel. So these vehicles not just the ford mustang but the f-150s and other cars uh that ford comes out with uh, they have this smart feature that you don't have a gas cap but the what's bad about it is that as the vehicle is driving and it likes to kick up a lot of dirt into this area sometimes your fuel cap does not keep all of the dirt around it very well it doesn't keep it all out so some of it might get in here and therefore it get in between that gasket you can't see the gasket but there is a gasket in here and it gets all of this dirty and gunky with dirt and what happens is that you get a, a leak coat because you're having some of those fumes from the gasoline coming out and that's what triggers the check engine light but i have a bigger issue i've already tried cleaning that myself quite a few times so if you guys have already clean your gas cap quite a few times and the coat keeps coming on this is going to be the next guy to replace this is called your perch valve and the car basically is electronically controlled to keep it open or open or closed and in my case it's being stuck open uh, and so i went ahead and got myself a uh, dorman part number 91222 so just real quick you're going to be needing a deep 10 millimeter socket uh, to get these two, just a clip removal tool or flathead screwdriver to be able to get this plastic piece out. And uh, here's my new one. We're just gonna go ahead and slide it in place. So now that the new one is in place, we're gonna go ahead and clear the coats and go for a little drive. Okay. Mind you guys, the check engine light should go off on itself, but I don't want to wait that long. It kind of bothers me, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, clear it. Same exact thing, diagnosis, read codes. You allow it to read the codes, and then we're going to go ahead and clear the codes. Clear. It's going to ask me if I want to clear all of my codes. Clear all DTCs, and that's it. No more check engine light. So one thing that I've always noticed is that every time that I do maintenance on the car or just simply change something that is wrong with the car, in this case it was the perch valve, um, the car just feels a lot better. And I mean, sometimes these parts are starting to go out, but it doesn't, they don't make the check engine light come on until later on. And so, I mean, you guys wouldn't really know unless the check engine light actually comes on, but I mean, right now I'm gonna try to 
uh, show you but I mean the, the car is feeling a lot better a lot more responsive and definitely gets up to speed quicker even the downshift red matching is a lot crispier and the RPMs are right wherever I want them to be So I just wanted to show you guys the car real quick. So this is a, uh, a spot, I guess, that I like to come out and just test out the car. Uh, uh, every once in a while, I'll come out here and just hang out you know sometimes other vehicles show up but it's a pretty nice little area so in last video i wasn't really able to rev the car because i was uh, a lot of location that i couldn't really you know rev it too high but since we're out here alone i figured i'll give you guys an exhaust video So I'm gonna do my best not to die here and shift at the same time, but uh, show you guys a little bit of a uh, of what this car can do. videos you guys would like me to make uh, I mean I got a little ways away before my next event so I don't really know what I could make but uh, if you have any suggestions put them down in the comments thank you